Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Peachy. Today is a very grey day here in Germany but I'm happy because I'm sitting in front of my camera again filming for you guys and today I have a very very special video. As I always like to say because today we're gonna talk about lip liner hacks. You know I've done a video on liquid lipstick hacks which you guys loved and today comes the little brother, so to say. Today I'm gonna show you five hacks that can help you really nail that, that shape, that can help you facilitate finding the middle and all these little sources of complication that you can um, encounter. So if you wanna find out how to get that perfect lip liner, you should stay tuned right now. Our first hack concerns the upper lip. The line you draw from the cupid's bow to the outer edges of your lips should be as straight as possible. Of course you should take into consideration your natural lip shape, but from a purely symmetrical and hence aesthetic point of view, keeping that line straight will likely prevent you from creating an uneven, unflattering lip shape. Secondly, the cupid's bow. There is a number of ways how you can accentuate your cupid's bow, however one particular shape is a little bit tricky. And that is when you place too much space between the two peaks of your cupid's bow. I'm not sure why, but in my experience it always looks best when you try to line the two high points of your cupid's bow in a way that there isn't too much space in between. Of course, as always, taking into consideration your natural lip shape. My third hack concerns filling in your entire lips with lip liner. Here you can get much smoother results if after you did the outline, like you normally would, you use the side of your lip pencil to fill in your lips. Also, try to put less pressure on the pencil the more you get to the inside so that there is a smoother transition. Next up we have a symmetry hack. When you line your lips it's important to determine the middle, especially for the outline of your upper lip. Here you shouldn't only take into consideration where the actual middle of your lips is, but also where the middle of your nose is. For the overall look, the latter is even more important if you want to create the illusion of perfect lip shape symmetry. So just use your lip pencil as a ruler and mark the middle of your nose on your cupid's bow. Then work from there. Last but not least, whenever you slightly alter your lip shape with liner, whether that's overlining, underlining or just adjusting the position of your cupid's bow, you should use matte lipstick afterwards. This will conceal the changes you've made because it doesn't reflect the light as much as shiny formulas would do. And with that in mind, happy lining everybody! All right, my lovelies, that was it for me today. That was my first beauty video in a very long time. I really hope you liked it. I really hope you found it useful. Definitely let me know in the comment section if you've tried it, if it has worked, um, if you have any video suggestions or ideas, I'm always happy. And of course, the thing every YouTuber needs to say, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you know the drill. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you very much. See you soon and goodbye. Oh, you haven't subscribed yet? No, that's bullshit. <laughs>